this video, we walk you through how to set up a test tube. Prepared test tubes form one of the most basic setups in ant keeping and are frequently used for things like water stations, food stations, and as bases for nests. They are inexpensive, easy to set up, and have many applications. Crucially, they make perfect nuptial chambers, the small sheltered spaces queens use to start their colonies. So this is the perfect setup to start your very own colony. This is how your completed test tube should look like. This setup ensures that your ants will always have enough drinking water and also the necessary humidity to start and grow their colony. All you need is a test tube, cotton wool, a cotton swab, and water. Test tubes are cheap and can be bought in pharmacies or online. Make sure your test tube is clean and then fill it with water until it is around 60% full. It is important to have enough water. In 1983, NASA sent a small colony of carpenter ants into space aboard the Space Shuttle Challenger. Unfortunately, all the ants died of dehydration before leaving Earth. Adding enough water ensures that your colony won't suffer the same fate. If you do end up running low on water, it is possible to move your colony into a new test tube, but it is much better to have enough water from the start. The water needs to be sealed off to provide a space for the ants. Cotton wool forms a perfect semi-permeable barrier. To make this barrier, Take a small piece of cotton wool and knead it into a ball. Now comes the tricky part. You need to push the cotton ball into the tube without allowing air bubbles to form in the water. To achieve this, hold the test tube upright, place the cotton into the tube, and then push it down with a cotton swab in a single quick and continuous motion. If it didn't work out, just start over again. You need to let the water soak through the cotton until the front facing surface is wet. You can test this by rubbing a dry cotton swab against the cotton barrier. If everything is right, the cotton swab will feel at least damp when you touch it afterwards. Use the cotton swab to dry out the front of the test tube and you're done. The test tube is ready to house your ants. If you're using your test tube as a nuptial chamber, you can close the front with cotton wool. This will safely lock the queen inside while allowing air to come in. This test tube chamber is all your budding colony will need for quite some time. With everything set in place, you are now ready for the most important step in starting your colony, getting a queen. Our next videos focus on how to get a queen. Subscribe to our channel so you won't miss them and let us know your thoughts and questions in the comment section.